Number 21. When serving a tennis ball, a player hits the ball when its velocity is zero, at the highest point of a vertical toss. The racket exerts a force of 540 newtons on the ball for 5 milliseconds, giving it a final velocity of 45 meters per second. Using these data, find the mass of the ball. Okay, so we're talking about forces and times, right, and velocities. Basically, we're talking about momentums as well. So uh, in terms of what formula to use, I'm going to start with this one on the right-hand side. Okay, it says that the change in momentum of an object is equal to the force applied to that object uh, multiplied by the time. So expanding on this change in momentum, right, we can break that down into the mass of the object multiplied by the final velocity minus its initial velocity is going to equal then the force applied to that object multiplied by the time. Now we're asked to find the mass of the ball. So, well, I notice I have mass in here, so why don't I divide out then the final velocity minus the initial velocity from both sides. Okay, there's just algebra now. So that gets me now the mass is equal to then the force applied to the ball multiplied by the time over which that force is acting on the ball divided by the final velocity of the ball minus the initial velocity of the ball. That's a mouthful, huh? So uh, this is our formula. Now all we need to know are these four variables and I can find the mass. And do we know those variables? Yeah, I think we do, right? They basically gave it to us in the problem very nicely. So the, what's the force uh, on the ball? Well, it says that the racket exerts a force of 540 newtons on the ball. So that's easy. So that's 540. Hold on one second. So that's 540. Uh, and how long is that force acting on the ball? Well, they told us 5 milliseconds. But remember, we need it in seconds. So simply move the decimal three places to the left. So it'd be 0.005. Or just take this value and divide it by 1,000, okay? And now divide it by the final velocity of the ball. Well, they told us final velocity is 45 meters per second, so that's great. Those are the right units. And what's the initial velocity of the ball? Well, they didn't, well, actually, no, they did tell us, right? The velocity when it's zero. It's at its highest point. So that's a big old zero. So guess what? All we got to do, plug it in. All right, not bad. Just plug it on in. So 540 times 0 0.005 divided by 45. And we get a value of 0 0.06, all right? And that's going to be in terms of kilograms. So that's the mass of the ball. Easy peasy. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Please remember to subscribe. And if you liked it all, if it helped you, hit that like button too. See you in the next problem. Take care.